World Youth Day 2022 will be a Catholic festival held in Lisbon, Portugal, and it will be celebrated in summer 2022. This was announced by Pope Francis and Cardinal Kevin Farrell at the end of the closing Mass of World Youth Day 2019 in Panama City, Panama. Host city In the celebration that marked the closing of the World Youth Day 2019 in Panama City, in the presence of thousands of young people from all over the world, including 300 Portuguese young people, were the Cardinal Patriarch of Lisbon, Manuel Clemente, the President of the Portuguese Republic, Marcelo Rebelo de Souza, the Secretary of State for Youth and Sports, João Paulo Rebelo, representing the Government of Portugal. Portugal, and the mayor of Lisbon, Fernando Medina, as well as ambassadors, six bishops from the dioceses of Lisbon, Garda, Coimbra, Braga and Braganca Miranda and several priests. In a press conference, the president of the Episcopal Conference of Portugal CEP, said that he expects to receive between 1 and 2 million young people in the summer of 2022 and added that the more than probable Place for the conclusive events of Wide 2022 will be the margin north of the Tagus River, next to the Sea of Pala, in Lisbon, and that evokes the Sea of Galilee where Jesus walked, although the main event takes place next to the Parque do Tejo in Lisbon, are also expected pilgrimages from the participating youth to the National Sanctuary of Cristo Rey, in Almada, to the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Fatima, in Cova da area, and also to the birthplace of St. Anthony of Lisbon. Patrons and intercessors Patronage The patrons of the World Youth Day of 2022 are Catholic figures who, in their youth, have taken decisive steps in the path of holiness. Saints Francisco and Jacinta Marto, messengers of Our Lady of Fatima. Blessed Mary of the Divine Heart, sister of the Good Shepherd and messenger of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Blessed Alexandrina of Balazar, Salesian cooperator and messenger of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Topic: Intercessors. Saint Anthony of Lisbon, Franciscan friar and doctor of the Church. Saint Beatrice of Silva, Conception nun and founder of the Order of the Immaculate Conception. Saint Elizabeth of Portugal, Queen of Portugal and nun of the Order of Saint Clare. Saint John de Brito, Jesuit missionary and martyr of the Catholic Church. Saint John of God, founder of the Hospitaller Order. The Holy Martyrs of Lisbon, Saint Verissimus, Maxima and Julia. Saint Nuno of Saint Mary, Constable of the Kingdom of Portugal and Carmelite Friar. Saint Theotonius, Co-founder of the Regular Canons of the Holy Cross. Blessed Amadeus of Portugal, Franciscan Friar and Reformer of the Conventual Life. Blessed Goncalo of Amarante, Dominican Friar and Confessor. Blessed Maria Clara of the Child Jesus, foundress of the Congregation of the Franciscan Hospitaller Sisters of the Immaculate Conception. Blessed Mafalda of Portugal, Queen Consort of Castile and Cistercian Nun. Blessed Sancha of Portugal, Princess of Portugal and Cistercian Nun. Blessed Teresa of Portugal, Queen Consort of Leon and Cistercian Nun. Blessed Rita Amada de Jesus, foundress of the Institute of the Sisters of Jesus Mary and Joseph. Blessed Forty Martyrs of Brazil, missionary martyrs of the Society of Jesus. 
Servant of God Mother Virginia Brights of the Passion Poor Clare Nun and Messenger of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Servant of God Sousina of Alencar Young Catholic popularly devoted in Portugal Topic Devotion The sculpture number no. 1 of the Pilgrim Virgin of Fatima traveled in the early hours of January 21, 2019, to Panama to be present at the World Youth Day 2019, evoking the memory of the Marian imprint that Pope John Paul II wished to print at the creation of these great Catholic religious events. Continuing this spirit, at the World Youth Day 2022 the young people will be especially invited to pray and to deepen the main devotion recommended in the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary at the Cova da Iria, in Fatima, in particular the prayer of the Holy Rosary. <laughs> 